episode two. What I'm going to do right now is cut the transom. This plywood is three quarter Okumi plywood, 18 mil. I'm going to rip it up about six feet and then I'm going to cut it across and we're going to fold both sides together. That's going to make the whole transom. There was a little bit too much wind noise. I had to do a voiceover. These pieces I'm cutting right now are going to make up the bow stem. We'll rip those on the table saw next. Right now I'm cutting the pieces for the bow stem out of the three quarter inch plywood. I have to cut these on a 45 on each side. I have to make three of them. That's one piece. What I'm creating is a pyramid shape. I'm going to make them smaller, the other two smaller as they go up. All right, what, I get, what I'm doing right now is I'm trying to make this bow stem. And that's going to be made out of three pieces of three quarter inch plywood. 
I just put these lines in pencil, but I'll this being the widest piece, I'm going to put this piece on top. Oh, this is the piece I want. Then I'm going to use this piece right here. It's going to go on top to make the third piece. Cut those up. That's perfect. So now that I get my three pieces of three quarter cut up with the 45s degree rips on each side, got this pyramid going right here. And this is the bow of the boat, top, bottom. This bow stem is a way to join each side up at the front of the boat. That's going to get glued and screwed. And we'll get to that next. We'll glue up the sides to make the long sheet. We'll glue up this together. Okay, looks like my epoxy showed up. I ordered it yesterday. It's here today. gallon kit, total boat high performance. Great thing about this high performance is you don't have to wash it off after it hardens. Uh, the 5 to 1 epoxy is blue, you have to wash it with uh, soapy water because your next, uh, it doesn't sand right, and your next coat doesn't, and you, you have to get that blush off, otherwise, but this does not have it, so it's worth a little extra money. And I generally use the slow hardener, just to, so it doesn't go off in the pot when you're mixing it, uh, it gives you more working time. And this is my uh, silica thickener. Plenty of that. That's so I can make that. This stuff is uh, both the consistency of syrup, and you want to make it thick for glue, like peanut butter. So add some of this here. Silica comes with the pumps. This is what I like to you mix up this epoxy with and spread it around. These are some uh, paint stirrers or uh, like tongue depressors that you can buy at Home Depot or someplace like that. And uh, you get that round inside corner for doing some kind of fillet. And then uh, I like to cut a square end on the other side. So I'm going to do that right now. Okay, now it's time to glue up the sides. Make one long sheet. First thing I did was uh, put some plastic so it doesn't stick to the floor. 
I'm gonna mix up some epoxy and I'm gonna paint it on these scarf joints. Okay, I got some unthickened epoxy. Just wanna apply it on here. The reason you want to do this is because the end grains really draw up the, they really suck up the glue, so this kind of gives a little barrier coat, because this joint has to be really strong, because we're going to bend it. This is going to keep the ocean out. stem, bow stem. Just kidding. That'll keep them lined up. I didn't have to thicken this epoxy because this is not on end grain and it's pretty thick itself. So I'm just going to clamp this up. To line these sheets up, you have to chalk a line or I put some marks along a string line. So I have some pencil lines there I'm going by. And I'll be pulling those staples out later.
told you we we're going to get these sides glued up. Now they are. So let's give this a try. This table saw is real old. This is my grandfather's. And you have to plug it in.